Hi guys, so I've created this autumnal makeup look. It's inspired by the fall and autumn leaves with their golden yellows, browns, reds and oranges. Um, I've decided for the next month that I'm going to do a series of full looks so there'll be some cool tones in there but also some creative makeup as well so that'll be on the build up to winter. So if you like the look of this makeup then please keep watching. First off, I'm going in with this Laura Mercier foundation primer. Uh, I didn't like this at all. I thought I'd give it a go to try something different and it just peels. It's not very nice. I'm then going in with my Sleek Colour Correcting Palette and taking this green shade and I'm going all over the areas which I have red blemishes and things like that. Unfortunately, my skin doesn't do very well in the colder weathers even though they are my favourite times of the year. I'm then going in with the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector to get rid of those dark circles underneath the eyes. Like I said, my skin doesn't do very good in these colder weathers, so yeah. And then I blend it all out with a damp beauty blender. Once that's all blended, I'm then going in with my Kat Von D Locket Foundation in Light 145 and I'm buffering that out with the Zoeva 104. I then go in with my Beauty Blender by Real Techniques and I just use that to smooth out the foundation and remove excess foundation as well. I'm then going in with the Kat Von D Locket Concealer in Light Warm 03 and I just use little bits of this because it's quite thick and then just keep building up till I'm happy with it. By the way, I absolutely love this concealer. It doesn't go patchy, it just stays where it is, which is what you want. Then you want to set that under eye. I'm just using a translucent powder for this section because we're going to go into contouring later on in the video. Then for the rest of the face, I'm going in with Liz Out Powder in Natural Beige. This is really good if you don't wear foundation, but I find with this foundation it's really hard to blend, so I'm going to change it. Moving on to the eyes, and we are going in with the Kat Von D Metals Matte Palette, which I'm in love with. And the first shade we're going to go in with is Bone, which is it's not a white, it's more of a creamy white. And we're just going to highlight the brow bone with that. And then we're going to go in with Feather which is like a creamy yellow colour and we're going to use that as a base shade so we're going to apply that on the eyelid and then into the crease and that will just help blend eyeshadows together. We're then going to take Oak and this is going to be our transition colour in the crease so this will really make the eyeshadows seamless and well blended. And to really make sure that that shade is really blended out, we're taking that fluffier brush that had the colour feather on it and just going over the edge. I think this palette has to be my favourite palette. I use it all the time. It just has every colour I need in it. And this is the Morphe 35B palette. I'm going to start off with that yellow shade and we're going to place it into the middle and just keep building it up. Using that same brush but the other side, we're going to take this orange colour from the same palette and place it on either side of the yellow. And the reason why I'm using the same brush is because we're going to flip it round and blend the yellow and orange together. So it helps fuse them. Also, 
when you're doing this type of eye look, you need to keep going back in with those colors so you have the right consistency because when you're blending them, you kind of lose a bit of that color. So as you can see, I'm just flipping the brush back and forth, back and forth, just in between the yellow and oranges. So it just really helps them blend together. So it becomes one. And then I'm going back in with that O color just to blend it into the crease. I'm now taking Velvet from the Kat Von D palette and to me that looks like a really ready brown but it's more on the browner side so I'm just using that on the outer corners and when I'm happy with it later on I'll go in with a bit of red just to help blend the orange and that colour together because it doesn't quite seem like it fades into one properly. So I'm just using that on the outer corners and I'm just blending it into the crease so I want most of the product to go on the outer corner and then whatever's left on the brush to go up into the crease. And then we're going to repeat with the same colour but in the inner corner of the eye. that orange shade just to replace where we've lost a bit of the orange. Taking that fluffy brush again with the colour Feather and we're just going to blend out the edges. So we have soft, beautiful edges. We're now taking this ready orange shade from the Morphe palette and like I said earlier, we're going to place that in between the orange and that brown just so it helps fuse the colours together and this whole eye look becomes one. There is a little bit of fallout with these bright colours but it's okay because it only fell out just underneath the eye where we're going to be placing the colours again. So first off going in with that yellow shade again and placing it in the same area as you have with the top lid but on the bottom lid and then we're literally doing the exact same thing but on the lower lid. It on the top lid we're taking that feather colour and to help really blend the eyeshadows outwards and together just placing that underneath. I'm going in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit and Gleam and using the colour Mimosa on top of the red colour that we've applied in the corner. It just helps brighten up but it still keeps that darkness. And then we're going in with Topshop's Kajel, Kajel liner, I think it's, I'm not sure, but going in on the waterline and the top waterline as well. I've gone ahead and applied Benefit's Roller Lash Mascara and a pair of Isla False Lashes in number 70. And now we're going to contour with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette and I'm starting off with that Lyric shade. It's kind of like a banana -y yellow and just placing it under the eye and what it does, it really brightens up underneath. It, it's such a brilliant palette. And then I'm going in with Shadow Play to contour the areas of my face. So I'm going to start off with the temples and my forehead and then I'll do the jawline and then I'll move to the hollows of my cheeks. And I'm using my MAC 135 for this which is the most excellent brush. Like I don't think I'll ever change it.
And then I'm going to apply Max Blusher in Warm Soul and I'm just applying that to my cheeks and the apples of my cheeks. And then going back in with that Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in Gleam, we're going to take Crushed Pearls and apply that to my cheeks and my cupid's bow and do that little exclamation mark on the nose. And then lastly, as always, I'm applying this Urban Decay Vice Lipstick in Back Door. And this shade really helps complement the eye look. You could go for a more ready tone, a more, more dark brown tone, even a nude lip, but I just felt like this lipstick was the one. So this guys is the finished look. Like I said, I was inspired while walking the dog by all the autumn leaves that were on the ground. I've also created this halo eye because it's one of my favorite looks to create and it really suits rounded eyes which i have plus if you don't have rounded eyes and you want to get that illusion then this is perfect for that so this is my first full makeup out of this series that i'm going to do i'm going to do some creative makeup as well but for the next one i'm thinking i'm going to do cooler tones using purples and purple shimmers so if you've enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and please hop over to my other social media pages like my instagram and my blog and follow me on there and i'd just like to say thank you so much to those who are subscribed to my channel watch my videos or if you're new to me Thank you, I really appreciate you watching my videos and I really hope to see you in the next one.